Good evening, everyone. Chad here, and I thought what I'd do tonight is I have a certain number of what's known as go-to games. Now, these are games that I like to play just to relax um, when I'm not doing sort of, you know, channel stuff and things of that nature. So what I wanted to do is um, show you this go-to game, my current go-to game, uh, which is Napoleon Total War with Darth Mod. Now, that what I'm playing in this particular one is the Egypt campaign. So, this is the Egypt campaign on the side of the French. So, and a good evening to everybody in chat. Let me just change that. Whoops. Here we go. Here we go. So, essentially, you can see here my objectives. Um, I've got to try and take that, if possible. That would be interesting. And I've got Camel Warriors, I think I've done. And I've got to take Damascus, so... Which, as you can see, I'm kind of on my way to doing. So, you can see from this mini-map here, I pretty much got most of this area. Moving up, going to try and take out the Sinai, which is this spot here. Now, the trouble is, I've got this... Hello, Viking Yaffa. I've got this bit here, which I need to take. Now, if I take that one... Um, the only drawback is I'm going to get a lot of attrition because of walking through the desert. So what I'm thinking is I might try and build a navy from here that I can use to transport this army. As you can see, they're in there at the moment, all replenishing their numbers. So if I build up a navy there, um, let's see, what are my options? Hmm. See, merchantman. I'm guessing it's got to be a brig. Let's see if I can get them onto that. See what numbers I can get on. So, the Turks will kill me. Uh, yeah, that's distinctly possible. Um, so, I've got a number of armies around the place. So you can see up here. I've got Napoleon here in Cairo with an army of 2,200. I've got Jean Renier up in Mount Lebanon with an army of 1,700. And we've got uh, Desai there with another army of 1,400. And we've got Jean Rapp who's down here with an army of 1,100. We've also got this guy who they don't have a commander at the moment because I can't afford to get one for them. So let's see. That's how the army is broken down, or the armies are broken down at the moment. Now, what I'm thinking is it might be worth... See, these guys I'm not going to attack yet. But because I'm still in my own territory... And what we'll do is we'll do a quick recruit... No, we can't in there. So let's space by that one. As you can see, there's a battle. We had a battle with victory over the Ottoman Empire so hopefully what we can do is bring these guys in here like that and then use this guy to take out this army because he's otherwise going to be blocked and see yeah that's French Republic yeah it's me I've also taken out this area over here you see this point so I don't have many troops in there but they're staying there and they'll keep that area okay I've pretty much done all the technology research I can um, so there's not really much I can do at the moment so there we go 
Um, so let's see. Let us see. Hmm. I'm thinking. Leave those behind. So the moment I deal with that lot. Add in that dromedary cavalry. And we can't recruit any more. So let's move on to the next turn. Oops, someone's been blocked. Be this guy. Oh, okay. Monsieur? Don't know what it's been blocked by. Send him over. Recruitment. Now the only drawback is this guy has no cannons, so let us try and recruit him three cannons. How much light does he have? He has a little bit of light. Three cannons and there we go, leave it at that. So that'll be a nice little army to move in with. Now you can see here all these guys, Galilee, Mount Lebanon, all these guys are all being built, so that's all okay. Now as you can see that musket manufacturer has been well and truly battered. So let's see. Let's take that. Try and drag oh look, see look, big army, big army. That could be a problem. We'll have to wait and see. But the problem is, is that actually Let's move him out again. Because I want his replenishment rate to go back up. So, a quick jump into uh, the Ottoman Empire to set fire to everything and then jump back out. That sounds only fair. Now, how are these guys doing? Okay, these guys are fully replenished. So, I think time to go twat them so 2000 versus 1700 this should be interesting Right, so, cannons. Yeah, look at that. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, 18 pound foot artillery. Okay, so, let's see, where can we put our arty? I'm guessing over here. Hmm. Let's put them there. You know, what sort of tab reach does that give them? Only up to about there, which is not great. Actually, you know what? I am going to stick them over here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just want them on higher ground. Now, if it means I can't hit the guys on the left, it's about the same, to be honest. So, I'm not going to worry there. Now. Let us see. We have our light infantry. Which will be there. And we'll have these guys there. There we go. Just going to get them into light infantry mode. There we go. And get these guys out of the way. And those guys like that. Okay. So that's great, that's what we want. 
And then... We'll have these guys. Here. We shall then put the... There we go, general in there. And he's there. Three, we'll have four, I think. Okay, so we'll have four over to the left here. And who is remaining? Okay, so we've got another section of three. That's interesting. What we might do, actually, is put them behind the lights and move them in together with the lights. We'll have to wait and see. Let's see. So if we do this... Group them together. in as group two. Okay, normally actually what we do is put them as group three and put number two in as group one because otherwise it'll confuse the crap out of me. Okay, because then number one's always my cannons. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is this little section of men will have to move up. Actually what I'm gonna So, put the French general there, and right over the far side, go the Dragoons. And we'll use those as a roving assassination band, essentially. So, we are outnumbered. And we could very well lose this conflict, but we shall have to wait and see. Now. Let's get back to the lights here. I want to move them up. Like that. There we go. I also want these guys in a nice long line, like so. And we're going to sneak them up around the side here. And up the back of the hill. Oh, good God, there's so many of them. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, Jesus. So, cannons don't reach them yet, so we're going to wait for them to come to us. Now, let's just move these fine fellows up. And we shall move the horses up as well. Okay, so, so here's my group of fine fellows. Now the idea basically is if these guys come into attack from horses, these guys will move forward, go into square formation and then protect the lights who can then run backwards. Um, the only drawback is there, as you can see there, they're firing cannons at my men already. And my men are not within, or my cannons are nowhere within range of any of their men right now. Yeah, okay, so, um, let's see, that's okay, yeah, right, Okay, I know I'm attacking. But it's just a matter of these guys tend to be a little bit over-aggressive and tend to jump 
rather too easily into a battle and that will be their undoing now the thing is I can't see how to spread my troops out on here I don't have an option to unless it's that one increase the file maybe I don't know I don't know Yeah, thank you, Yaffa. So, let's see. Right. Where's my... Here we go. So, let us... Move these guys up a bit. Moving them nice and slow, I do not want them rushed. So, these guys are not yet within cannon distance. I can use, make use of the light infantry firing out in the woods. There's this bunch over here. Doing something. Obviously up to no good. Ah, cannons are now firing. Thank you. So my boys are now firing. Right, now this these fusiliers of the line here will now make their way here. And then here. And then around the back here. There we go. So they'll then sneak up behind that lot and start shooting those people. So Let's see, over here, we have a collection here, let's see, oh boy, can move those balls up, so that they can engage that lot if need be, um, those guys are sniffing out my Republican Dragoons there, these fine wonderful gentlemen, can now make their way up onto the plains. Yeah, Elliot, that loose formation thing you mentioned, I can't see on here how to make my troops stand in the loose formation besides, you know, that, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, look at that, Ray. Oh, nice. So, oh, God. These guys taking a pounding. Taking a pounding. Not good. So, as you can see, those two guys are keeping the interest of this, or keeping, being interested by this guy. So, let's see. There's the General's Bod. And it's this. I might, oh god, no, I can't get in there because look at all that. Lance is directly behind. So, what the hell are these guys? Oh, let's get these guys running around. Let's get these guys moving up. In the meantime, my section here. You see? Let's get them running. Let's move them. Come on, fellas, run. Okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. Why are they moving that? Like there. Okay. It's really odd. Okay, so a reasonable number, they're just outside of RT range. Reasonable number. Oh, here we go. Look at all this stuff. Ah. See. Here we go. Get in there. Trouble is, these guys are massively under fire 
from their artillery. They're going to break my morale soon, I think. So we'll have to wait and see. So, what I'm thinking is, let's move these fine fellows up. Try and engage that lot. At the same time, so we're going to move these guys up. Try and engage them. Let's so, say, see, look, that cannon fire coming in. Jesus, it's obscene. They'll stand. Let's see. Want them about there. We want them about three, a rank of about three deep, I think. There we go, that should be right. Oh, here we go. Run back. Because these guys are not good at melee. The light infantry guys are not good at melee. But I want to have these guys in there. infantry firing from the woods those guys are doing okay we've got more troops coming from the left side where the hell are they going again all oh, right okay actually let's put them there get them running this light infantry can stay there move over to the right we can move in our troops here let's move them up Guys, are, oh crikey! Our men are running. As expected. Get this lot on there. Jesus. So firing from the woods as these guys are supposed to do. No, stop firing artillery. So, these guys are now moving up, get them like that, meanwhile, send the dragoons around here, at the same time, as those guys are continuing. Stand still. You guys are not designed to melee, you idiots. Great, and now what are you doing? You're bloody meleeing. Fools. Right, so. This should be interesting. These 
guys can move back. These guys are going to get overrun. There we go. These guys, yeah. Our men are running. Of course they are. Let's move these guys up here. So, which are the guys that are fleeing? I mean, those guys, not exactly unexpected, even though there's about four or five of them left. Get in there. Melee. Right, let's see. Where is our... Boy, here we go. I'm going to run him in faster. These guys here. Let's get them running in. Oh, look at this. Nasty. Our men are running for Light infantry? Yeah, not exactly unsurprising. There we go, these guys coming under attack from Cav. Firepower. Come on, shoot at them. Shoot at them. Don't melee them. Just shoot at them. Oh. Send them there. I did see the Turkish cab, that's why they're in squares here, see? That's why the Turkish cab is now routing. And that's why these guys are nice to uh, meleeing it in. As you can see. So these guys are now on melee there. Those guys can unlimber because otherwise they keep firing, even though I say, don't fire at will. Poor old Will always gets shot at, poor sod. So, these guys, let's move up. And let's see what we can start doing around here. So there's some cannons, which we can go in and stab. moving. Yeah, here we go. See, we're pressuring everybody in exactly the right place. Hello. What might do? There's something over there. Horses. Getting square, fellas. Getting square. Okay. They should hopefully shoot the shit out of that boy. That boy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's hope these guys make it all the way over here without missing the sodding battle. Oh! Hello? I don't want anything to do with you. Okay, 
so we've got to be careful because of these obstacles because the AI is so stupid that if you just say go here it won't think of going around it'll just ride straight over the top of this and kill every single horse which is just a testament to stupidity. Right, what's over here? Right. Okay, so, all quiet at the moment. Take them out of that. And get them up the hill. Whoa, hello. Go away. Aha! My surprise. Put them there. And bring these guys. These guys here are coming under a lot of attack from the RT, which I'm not a big fan of. As of their RT, not mine. I'm a big fan of my RT. Um, they're out of melee mode. Come on, fellas, what are you doing? Run. You know what, the longer I wait, the longer it's waiting for. The trouble is, is it's got loads of bloody... It's got these chicken chassers on there, lots of plants and stuff. So... Oh, look at that, that's not good, that's not good at all. Run, fellas. I don't want you standing there, because you're just going to lose too many numbers. They're doing a Temerai on you, and that's not a good thing. Not a good thing in the slightest. Oh, happy birthday to Thunder's mum. Um, I won't ask a lady her age, obviously. Or, in fact, Thunder. Um, okay. Here we go. Let's move up. And batter the piss out of them. Hello. Move these guys up and moving these guys up. There you go. So we can get these guys' attention. There we go. Here. And lots of about to be very dead artillery. Oh, they all. Oh no. Oh no. That's so sad. They're all retreating. I can't believe this guy hasn't seen us sneak up on him. It's going to be the most inattentive gunner. Be aware of your surroundings. Whoops, no, don't, don't do that. Just shoot him. Get your flag out there, fool. Ah, screw it. You know what? F. Let's F him. F him. F him good. Ah, but there are some stragglers who have survived down here. Victories, huh? to be so they've been effed, well and truly effed. 
Um, so let's unf them and move into a nice line, even though that's not a nice line at all. Here we go. See how we get on. There we go. Come on, fellas, make your way down. Because we've still got this fella to deal with. And, oh, I forgot all about these fine fellows and their contribution that they can make to this battle. Okay. Come on. I don't understand why they decide to rally down here. Doesn't make a lot of sense in my book, but then, you know, we are in the desert and the desert, the desert does strange things to men's minds. Unless you're Yaffa, of course. The man of fatigue, sir, and must rest away. Don't care, shoot at him. Shoot at the goddamn Lancers. Send those guys in to attack those infantry. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Let them rest when they're dead. Oh, look, and he's riding over the spikes. And oh, they're not working. Oh, well. So let's see, let's send in the draggies. Ah, there we go. So, sorry Yaffa, but the, the Ottomans lost. <sighs> so let's see, out of 2096, they lost 1400. Whereas I only lost 500 men. So about that, I am most pleased. So, the trouble is, I might need to... I'm just going to go back across the border to get my regen of my troops back again. And we'll keep him there to keep his regen as well. And then we'll hit Damascus. Let's move on. Love the music in this game it's fantastic so there we go we've got a couple of uh, corvettes recruited in this area here now what i want to do is a quick experiment to find out if they can go on there so they can oh that's good so, Court of Justice. Extra recruitment of militia. Let's not bother with that at the moment. Let us, however, move them into there. Put them onto the boat. So, we should... Is that a Corvette that's in there? No, it's a brig. So, let's have a look. So, in a few rounds, we should be able to get some more of those out there, which will be helpful. So, we can use those to transport them to this area. We can also use them to attack this point here and then this point here, and then we've got the entire bottom of the map. So that will be advantageous as far as we are concerned. Let's move. Oui, monsieur. Find out what's going on over here. 
two of those in there because I want to increase his general numbers. There we go. And then moving in this direction. So he's going for that. And let's see. Put one one in there. And put two in there. Just don't want them rebelling. That would be ever so slightly annoying. Monsieur. So that army should be replenishing its numbers and we'll move on to the next turn. Oh, the Bedouins are back. So, let's have a look. Where was that Bedouin? Was he near Cairo? There he is. You know what? It would be rude after he's come all that distance, not to go and say hello. I mean, I just believe in being polite. Oh, no, let's move back. Oh, damn. And we're in the desert, so... We've got a little bit of attrition on us, which is a bit annoying. Never mind. Let's move on. Uh-huh. Where's he going? Okay, so first things first, let's go and attack him, come back and be attacked, so he's got 343 against, yeah, no wonder, he does have a 16 pounder artillery, however, it should make things entertaining, if nothing else. Um, for those of you who are interested, there will be a series coming soon. I don't know if I'm going to start recording it this weekend. I might do. Of Far Cry 3. Also, um, for those of you who are interested, I have also getting... Oh, I have also getting... <laughs> I am also getting the new Sim City, so there will be a playthrough of that as well. So, I hope you like that. If you don't like it, well, tough to Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Oh, does it? Top hell. Arse hell. So, first things first. We need to get these guys over here. And this is our commander, our general. So, what we're going to do then is... How many of these we got? One, two... That in one section, that in another. So, let us get underway. And move these guys up. There's their cannon. Literally one cannon. It is an 18 pounder and it's guarded by peasant levy, camel warriors, and I uh, yeah, Delhi horsemen, Delhi horsemen. So what we'll do is move these guys up here. And then over on the far side. We'll move these guys up here for classic pincer movement. All the time, we move our light infantry in as well. So, let's see.
The good thing is, because I'm leading with my infantry, it means if they get into any scrapes with the cavalry, they will be able to deal with it, go into square formation. These guys are at the back, which because they can't. Right, let's, right, we're coming under artillery fire. Let's run. Come on. Get these guys under the brow of that hill. Get these guys... ...under the brow of that hill. Get those guys. Oh! Oh, that was nasty. wonder if it's worth trying to get them in there. Get them in there. Okay. Random house that'd be good to occupy for no reason whatsoever. Um, so we're going to try and get into that house with the light infantry. We can then use that to uh, harass these people. As in the meantime, my troops are then moving up. guys over there. I knew it. I bloody well knew it. Get in! Bastards. Ah! Just get inside the fools. We've taken the buildings up. Good. No thanks to them, idiots. At least we can annoy this lot now. Okay. Let's move these guys up. To, I think, about here, I think. Getting nice, close and personal. Right, so those guys are there. Let's move these guys in now. At the same time, as we move these guys here. Run. Because I want a classic pincer movement situation. He can be in that formation. And we'll move him in closer. He, these fellows, can also be in closer. Okay. Ooh, hello. See, these guys are debating whether or not to go for me. And if they do, I'm going to pop a square as soon as they come near me. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's great. Wonderful. Let's unpop that square. Glorious victory, sir. Is soon to be yours. We'll leave them as a square. And let's move these guys up. same time as are there any no let's send in those for the camel warriors and let's send in these guys to take out the deadly lancers take them out of square get them 
to move it a bit closer. Move up a bit faster. Go on. Oh, hello. What are you fellows doing? Let's go and say hello with some uh, big nasty troops. And, oh, there we go. And the boys coming in there. Come on. Excellent. And even general has been snuffed. And there we have it. The Ottomans have lost another battle. So, as you can see, we lost 59 people. <laughs> Brilliant. So, he's now buggering off. And we are going to go over here. I want that army completely dead. So, we're just going to auto-resolve that. And that army has essentially been completely wiped out. Which is what we were after. We're going to get that artillery in that army. And leave it at that, I think, for the time being. Um, let's see. What can, can we construct anything there? A drill school. Let's have a drill school. We need more drills. Right, okay, so desert attrition is now there. We. And let's go in attrition on this guy. Okay. Isn't that typical, see? Go to attack him and he just buggers off. Oh, now we've got desert attrition again. Let's go. Let's go attack him this time with Napoleon the Bonaparte. <sighs> I probably won't be uh, streaming too late, guys. Just let you know. But it means you're also going to be all napoleon out as of uh, Friday, because obviously we've got this coming out tomorrow on the channel and there'll be the siege battle from Thursday coming out as well and obviously you've got the uh, the Polion campaign from Mal so you boys are very lucky right there Move into the lights there we go okay now uh, let's see Goonies. The Goonies are over on the right. The other Goonies are on the left. And my assassination camel squad is in the middle. Okay, so. How many sections there? Right, so we'll take out that section. Have four lines on the right. And then what remains keep these two back as reserves and then we've got that on the left so the left's a little bit weak not ideal let's see but we'll have to deal with it as best we can I'm confident my cannons will give me what I need just out of range but that doesn't matter let's see what they've got Zoops, bazoops, some camel warriors, yeah, I mean, most of my guys will handle this without any problems, I don't think. So, let's see. The trouble is, is got to watch these guys, because there's not really a lot of cover for them. And then, let's see, okay. Get them moving out. Get these guys also moving out. And then this lovely section of men here moving out as well so we'll get them nice and wide open like that I think and get them to run into position I 
and we'll have these guys move up next to the cannons to act as reserves. Let's have our assassination camel squad. Well, let's move these guys to there. And let's move this guy here. Oh, God. Somebody's ready to break already. There we go. Come on, come on, warriors. Fellas, get into position. Who are these guys? Damn it, not a bloody... Ah! So these guys are a great bunch to take out. Oh, look at that! Ripple fire! Oh, you beauties. So let's take two of these and put them over that way. Because they are going to need... Yeah, yeah, we did not it. seem to have mysteriously fallen over. Oh no. Yeah, I love the lights. I love them lights. So, now the question now. Let's have a look. Can we move these guys up any further? To be honest, I'm tempted to say, let's just leave them here. Because we've got a good sort of crossfire thing going here at the moment. We are also looking at more camels. Ship of the desert. Come on, you hump gunners. Get up there. So, these guys now, there, and these guys, can now probably move up to here, I reckon. in again. So as long as they don't get engaged by horses, the lights are an absolutely devastating combination. They really are. Go okay, away, oh well, you know, the lights. So let's move the light infantry over this way. Here we go. And what we'll then also do is move these two sections here, engage them, and these two sections over to the right to engage them. Oh no, no cannon fire, sorry. And then we'll move these two guys up to here, engage them. So, we'll also then use these guys. Go and butcher that lot. Now, who's at the back here? Right. 
Hello. Yep, in a triangle. Or a diamond, whatever the hell you call it. And go after the general's bloody bodyguard. The Bedouin guard. So, let's see. Here is the lights looking wonderful. My camel gunners, I've got no idea what the hell they're doing. You know what, camel gunners, just stay there. And let's get these bunch of lights up. infantry, get them running into position. Okay, unlimber because they won't stop firing even if you tell them not to, to stop firing. They just won't do it. Because they're idiots. Oh, still not firing. Hopefully these guys will break. Yep, there we go. With the sheer firepower. Yep, good. Get in there and swipe them. Um, okay, and then what we'll also do is have these guys go up the side. Hello. For the, the dreaded a thousand and one, the attack of the thousand camels. Um, so let's see. Look at this lot. Oh, look at this lot. Oh, God. Get the general. You guys in chat enjoying the battles? Yes, no, up, down, left, right, whatever. And talking would be nice. Obviously, it's only optional if that's what you desire. Oh boy. Shoot back, shoot back, lots of them. Engage! And then engage! Oh crap. Run. Not want them there. I want those camel gunners. Where are they? Here we go. F. Get in there, camel gunners. I don't want my troops fighting or my light troops fighting like that. Let's move these guys in to assist. Leave one section behind to fight them. Yep, that's about what we were after. With you over there. Run. Attack him. Right, so we'll move that lot there. Go again and they attack that lot. Oh, hello, Grenadiers. Let's get you up here as well. And then we'll jump in the side here. Aha, there's a general. What's, ah, here we go. Over here. Now, what's going on with this guy? See that? Just ride through them and go after the general. 
our men are running for them. Yeah. Of course they are. The devious are facing all the way, I guess. And then the bell. Heroic victory. Yay. So, we lost 277 men and he lost 1,500. So, I think it's fair to say that that was considered a success. We can't get him back in there because he's still got the goddamn attrition on him. Which is really annoying. But, more to the point, we had a successful battle. And income... See, he's back again. Cheeky sod. So, you know what? We're going to go after this guy. And we're just going to auto-resolve it. And we're going to kill the entire sodding army. Yeah. Screw you, bitch. Okay, so now these guys are basically all being redone and reformed, which is good. We've got this guy to worry about. Um, let's see. We've also got the Navy, as you can see there. That's going okay. Let's get the Army over to there. How many of them can we get on is the question. Oh, we got all on. Awesome. So that's a bit of a turn up for the books. Um, and let's let's recruit a couple of those soldiers. So what we'll do is we'll take this navy. And we will take them down here. And then we shall... Will we list an admiral? Not particularly. There we go. As simple as that. So it's only the Ottomans and the Bedouins left. Which is a good thing in my book. What? There we go, so I've just retreated that army away, or that uh, navy away. Oh, God. Pour la 1970. Lots of armed populace. Oh, dear. Okay, so, Artie. Let's put our Artie there. Because at the moment, most of their forces are over this way. Actually, let's put them over there. And unlimber them. Now, let's get all of our lights together. Go. Not many of them, unfortunately. Look, they're taking a real battering number-wise. Jesus. I need to rest this army as a matter of the highest priority. Right, so four of these line infantries on the right side, like so. The remaining 
on the left. All the way around, you idiot. Um, we have these guys, the Dragoons. Move to one side. The other Dragoons, also in diamond formation, can go over there. There's the Commanding Office Orifice. Can go nearby here, I think. And let's get the artillery set to number one. Let's go. So, how far can the arty get? How low can you go? Okay, so that's not too bad. So, we'll be starting here. That's going to go that way. So, I'm guessing it's that one, yeah. So, the French. Six pound horse artillery doesn't have the range that these guys do. Oh well. So, right now, all we're doing is just using RT to soften them up a bit. Now obviously we've got camel gunners moving in, so let's us move my troops up. And we'll go over here, and my wonderful line fellows. We shall also move up, and my splendiferous lights. Oh, no, we'll put you in there. Perfect for you fellows. Even though you are crossing in front of the inf of the artillery. So we'll just tell the artillery to cease fire. Just for a short period. Okay, so Camel Gunners, Bedouins, um populous. guys running let's get these guys whoops these guys running as well let's get this guy move down to the far side and by that little oasis and these fine fellows we shall get into the back here right so you got cavalry moving down on my line infantry guys can now fire from the woods which is essentially their raison d'etre. You know what that means, then look it up. So let's take these. Yeah, there we go, they're split. Take them out square and move them up. So much smoke, so much smoke. Right, so let's see. Suddenly this music in the background for some reason makes me think of the airplane music from the film Airplane. Come on. Holy shit. That is a lot of armed citizens. Please fire back. Just 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 fire at them, please. I know they're just the populace. Stop firing. Themselves, as Jesse Cox would say. Okay. Oh, crikey, blimey! F! Put them there. Oh, run the other way round so they can offer some fire.
Oh God, they're bloody everywhere. Kids. Just as well my boys are good at melee. Okay, how's the lights doing? The lights are doing well. Whole point. Oh god, they're pretty much all going. What? Nelly, 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 Nelly. Right, so let's send him. Our men are running for What? Get in there and stab people. Oh, for God's sake. They do love their melee, these boys, don't they? Camel warriors, please. Fortunately, these boys are good at melee. Why are they just standing there? Well, we got the enemy general, so that's good. And the bat was over. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. So there we go. Uh, 1970 men of which he lost every single one of them. And I lost only 273 of them. So I shall peacefully occupy this area. Thank you. Come again. Uh, Red Sea Coast, region captured, nation destroyed, the Bedouins have been destroyed. Woohoo! And now all that remains between me and total conquest of Egypt is the Ottomans. And for them, it's only a matter of time. So what we'll do is we shall... Navally recruit. Oh, we are navaling. We're doing some navally stuff. Good. So, let's see. Can we repair that? We can. Have we got anything here that's being repaired? Uh, let's see. Something can be built there. Oh, supply warehouse. That'll increase general value of stuff all over. What else? That's okay. That's all right. Industrial town center. That's all okay. You guys are suspiciously quiet in chat, and I'm not sure why. It's slightly unnerving. Okay. We. We. So he's now fully recovered from troop. Uh, troop. Um, decay so to speak oui? let us intercept that army okay so we're going to try and intercept that army um once we've done that we can then send these guys in as well to back up the support of damascus let's go in there and set fire to stuff um so let's wait and see what happens so, as you can see, it's all looking pretty blue. Except for this section, uh, section Sinai. Sinai, I should say Sinai. What the hell? 
uh, the section of Sinai down here, which is part of modern day Egypt. So we shall, once we've taken that out, we'll go for South Sinai. But the trouble is, is getting to it. Because I'm going to have to go right across the desert through the mountains to attack it. And that's going to hit my troops pretty hard. I could always go for Eliat in Arababa. Araba. And there's still this area as well, so. So I love how they're all region capitals. Okay, so ah, here we go. And I see. Okay, that's not lovely. Okay, so there's not much I can do at the moment. Let's move on. Looks like my chat crashed. So 1788, 2150, 18 pounds RT. This should be interesting. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I couldn't see your chat. Um, for some reason, the chat crashed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out the chat. Where's my pop out button gone? Uh, da, 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 pop out, there we go. So I can see you guys chatting a lot easier. So, let's see, let's check that. Move. There we go, we have moved. Okay, so let's have, oh crikey, look at this. So they're pretty much all over there, so what I'm going to do is get all of my RT. Where can I go to? Here. Put them in there. Now. Um, just so Lawrence of Arabia, this music. It's just madness. So beautiful. Okay, so. Light infantry. You fine fellows there oh god those guys are going to be good okay so um we need to get three to four let's see no that'll work i think so there's a section of three there okay there'll be a one two Here we go, there. It's those three. We'll be over on the other side. Like so. Even if they are facing the wrong way, because I'm an idiot. Hello. Face the right way. Thank you. And then what remains is the, the last three here. One, two, three. Correction like that, who will follow up with the lights and have the French Republican Grenadiers behind them. Now, these guys I am going to put on the far right hand side and my chicken chasseurs I will stick on the far left. Now, let's see where should the general go? Let's put the general here. And let us proceed. So there we go. One, two. Oops. up and let us move up these fellows and 
I'm saying. God, the artillery is so... Such range, I think it's insane. Absolutely insane. We'll put them behind this row, um, section there. Move this guy up there. And this fellow's... We shall move over here. Okay. These guys. We shall move up. Which, yeah, I'll move them up there as well. Oddly calm music on the eve of a massacre. Yeah, it is very, very strange, isn't it? Okay, so now, as expected, out comes their Sipahi cavalry quite early on. Let's see what my artillery can do to flatten them. Now, let's see. Let's get those guys stopped there to defend that area. And then let's get these guys to move up right behind them to support them. Last time we had a massive amount of fire coming down. Palestinian auxiliaries will probably need these guys to just hold there, I reckon. These guys are guarding that side. Second orcs. No, second orcs. Firing. Send these guys. Oh, crikey, look at this. Let's move them over there. Just to kind of hit section, I think. These guys are very well placed behind this wall. In fact, I'm extremely happy about. Okay, let's spread out just that little bit more. Move them that direction. Blimey. Put them to square just in case.
Dodge, Dodge, keep pushing them. Keep pushing them. Is everyone enjoying the uh, stream so far? Feel free to leave your comments in the chat. If you guys are enjoying yourself, enjoying the battles, commentary, whatever, feel free to make any comment you wish. infantry up further with its support fire engage why are they wearing bags on their head it's like they're wearing Tesco carrier bags or something Some vegetables we could use. Oh, right, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I don't know, I'm just having a bit of a single player day today. One of those days. Let's have a look. We've still got a lot in the centre there. They can fire back. And they can fire back. Are they still being shot by their own people? Square, 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 square. We're squaring, we're squaring. Get in there. And rip them apart, lads. Rip them a new one. Oh, 
Oh crap. Move these guys over quick. Oh, look at that. Commence rapid fire. Oh, breaking almost immediately. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Get them out of the square. Move them up. Engage those. Move these fellows up as well. Take out that artillery. Move them in faster. Yeah, I saw that clip of Rome too. Looked fantastic. Looked absolutely fantastic. Cannot wait for that. So, as you can see, let's move in these guys as well. Over to the one side. Oh. Our men are running for what's where they're running from? Oh, that's not the odds because they're the lead. Are they fusiliers? Yeah, they are fusiliers. Right okay. Get yeah, this way, lads. Get this way fast. Same for you two. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, they squared up pretty quick. Whoa, square, square, super square, mega square. Oh, God. Bloody well hope so. Stop shooting at people. Yes, this is with Darth Mod. Flank. Move these guys up a little bit. Maybe a little bit close and personal. Let's wipe out the general. Over there. Oh, look, that's great. Look, look, he's now fleeing towards my dragoons who are coming in the same direction. So get in there. Twat them, boys. Twat them. In there. Ah, there we go. Heroic victory, huzzah, etc., etc. <sighs> very, very enjoyable game. I do like this. Oh, look at that. I only lost 16. Oh, but look, he lost over half his troops. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, crikey. 930, 993 versus 1785. Well, this should go well for them. Yeah, uh, Rome 2 is going to be fantastic. It's going to be exactly the kind of game I'm looking for. Uh, m sort of more medieval combat than bullets and guns and all the rest of it. The wonderfulness that is the trebuchet. Oh, I love it. Okay, so... The artillery is in place. 
do that there. Actually, we could always move it forward, couldn't we? We'll see. Um, this infantry can go here, like so, and the remaining line is over on one side. Actually, what we'll do is we'll do this thing again. Because that actually worked out really well. Let's put them in as two, and then set them up as, was it that one? Is it that one? Who's that one? There we go. So that looks good. Um, okay. General staff can be there. And the Dragoonies. Over on one side. And then these fine fellows. Go there. There we go. Well, let's kick bottom then, shall we? Let us, as they say in Terry Pratchett books, prod buttock. Yeah, Rome 1 Siege Towers weren't the best, I have to say. To be honest, whatever they release for Rome 2 as the specifications, um, I'll be very surprised if this machine doesn't handle it. It's a beast. So, let's see. I doubt... The no, it doesn't reach that far. I didn't think it would. So, we have got... Daily Lancers. Generals Bod and just general troops along with some general bits and bobs over on one side so let's just go and say hello because we are polite French people and we believe in showing respect to our guests even if we're about to murder them I mean it's just polite isn't it now let's see what's over here two yeah let's move these fellows right up the middle I think to about there is that the right way? Infantry is so helpful in this main game, I have to say. Very impressed by it. Uh, let's see. That seems... Yeah, no, that's right. That's right. Okay. Oh. Some more fuzzies. Ah, more fuzzies of the line. So we'll bring that line of fuzzies as well. Bring them up there. So, let's see. Steam box, in what respect the steam box, you have to be more clear. Don't forget I'm old and stupid. Oh, you're talking about the PC steam box, all oh, that thing. Uh, don't know. Hard to say whether or not it will revolutionise gaming anyway. Um, hopefully it will take maybe some of the uh, dominance away from Microsoft when it comes to operating systems. I don't know really, to be honest. I'll have to wait and see. So these guys are going to get there and then hopefully engage anyone who comes through here. Let's see, we might have to consider moving them up a bit, but I don't know. There we go, Artie's engaging. Wonderful you, Artie, thank you. Now batter the living snot out of that lot. Yeah, next gen, yeah, I remember seeing it. I saw it on uh, something new. So I couldn't I couldn't remember I couldn't uh, put the name to what it was. It's been a while since I looked up that detail, so. Let's have a look. Let's set these guys as being a lot more spread out. Get them really spread out, I think. There we go.
Okay. Let's bring down this lot to just bolster that edge. And what we'll also do is stop them firing, unlimber them, and bring them up to that hill. Don't tell me the bloody light infantry are under attack again. Yeah, they are. Oh, it's a sudden light, isn't it? Our men are running! Hey, fellas, we need you. Those guys there. Let's put them back on this hill so they can fire. Get in there and engage, fellas. over to Stabby Stabby as well. So these guys into Stabby Stabby. Our men are running. Okay. So let's send two down here to bolster up that corner. And the remainder will send into the main area. Put them into a square quickly. Ah! Why are these guys? Ah, fusiliers in the line. God damn it! They got out of position. Come on. Get out of the way. Get out of the way of those bastards. Those guys are doing better now. These guys have been decimated. Are still doing okay. Well, Nelly. Squares, squares now. So let's see. These guys here can come out of square. Move up. Ah, ba -dum -bum. Um, and we'll bring these guys around here to the left hand side and we'll bring those guys up to them. Yeah, I like the fact you can connect it to TV, but to be honest, I've had a PC connected to my TV for nearly two, three years and it's fine for what it does. I'll send those guys in to attack that lot. Out of square and start moving them up. What's going on over here? You have more of these guys. Why are they facing the wrong way, you idiots? Right, where's the lights? Go, uh, let's have a look. So here's the light inf. Oh god, look at this. Look at this. Oh Jesus. Richard, so many of my light infantry. To make them pay in blood and tears and the lamentations of their being. Um, okay. It's a Conan reference in case you don't know. Bloody surprised if you didn't. Okay, so. Let's go and say hello. Yeah. So they're going to say hello to the commanding officer. And these fine fellows. We're going to go and slaughter some artillery now. Because that's what you do in polite society. 
Anyone else notice that I pay attention to the people in the chat? I'm sorry, really? Is that is that out of character? I'm sorry, I do apologise. Right, kill them. Kill them all. Run. Ow! 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 That hurt a great deal. Yeah, I lost nearly 40 men in that church. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them with fire. Kill them with um, big sticks. Um, I don't know, kill them with a bayonet, insert a horse into them, I don't know, whatever. Come on, keep going. I will not be satisfied until every single one of those is dead, including the horse and the general's pet dog. Right. Come on, we want to kill this general. Xbox 720. Uh, I think Microsoft care about the Xbox 720, but the thing is, um, it's whether or not, uh, bear in mind that these things are now, uh, or the current versions are eight years old. So they're pretty high, uh, far behind in generation. Now, the thing is, I know for a fact that the Xbox, you look at the PS4, it's essentially a, a low spec PC. Now, one of the advantages has always been with the Xbox and the PS4s, and PS3s of the world, it's a standardization of hardware. Now, what that means then is when you're doing development on said box, you're always developing for the same hardware. Part of the problem that you have with PC is the hardware always varies. So I can guarantee that everybody in the chat, uh, everybody's PC is different because your memory is different, your motherboard's different, uh, the software that you're running is different, the drivers that you've got on it are different. Everything is about difference when it comes to the PC. Um, now, obviously, it means that the PCs tend to be higher spec generally, but there's less issues for the developers because of hardware differences. So, from the point of view of the developer, uh, the Xboxes and the consoles are a good market because there is a large amount of uh, people who use those Xboxes and uh, PS3s. And so there's a good return on investment based on what you spend. Part of the issue that people have with the Xbox is the fact that for those of you who do indie development, things of that nature, you got to pay about 10 to 20 grand to the release a patch. And some indie development companies just can't afford to do that. Yeah, but that's that. Yeah, I mean... The, the key part of what you were saying in there is the three to four years ago. So the thing is, to a certain degree, PC gaming is somewhat more niche. It's for people who have more money. That's really the gist. Um, not everybody can afford a, con uh, a PC, so therefore consoles are the way forward um, for them and for everybody uh, who does not have the, mo um, the money to spend on it. So I'm just going to move these guys back so they're getting their um, regeneration because you can see these guys are just oh, getting butchered. So we now have this area here and we should be able to maybe get the Navy back. Let's have a look. Navy, Navy, Navy. Constructions, naval recruit, recruitment. So we'll go to the next round. There's Ottomans up to no good. Oh, enemy raider Nabius. Oh, those dirty buggers. Okay, so what we might need to do then is consider where we have our next army. So that's these fellows here. We. Oui. Oui. And what we will do, oh, we can't employ general, isn't that nice? Uh, what's in there? Ooh, that's nice. So enemy raid, yeah, whatever. And let's go back to here. And move him up to Yaffa. We gotta put him in Yaffa, in Palestine. Ah, there we go. So, 
We've got more tr more uh, doodars down here, which is great. So you see, there's the navy, which is wunderbar. And let's see if we can get it down here. Is there anybody down here to worry about? No, because we wiped out the enemy, didn't we? So you can see them. These guys are all regenerating slowly. So I'll leave them in place for the time being. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I don't know. I've never owned a console ever in my entire life. Um, there's never been any reason for me to own one because I found them to be too limited. Uh, I do so much more than just uh, gaming on this PC uh, and the other PC as well. So it's down there for editing, for music, and you name it. It's just all there for whatever's needed. And the console is just for gaming. Plus, I don't... For me, playing a first-person shooter on a console controller is just a waste of time, in my opinion. Bear in mind, everything I'm saying here is my opinion. This is based on my experience. It doesn't mean that the Xbox or whatever is is not good. It is. It is good for what it does. There are certain core fundamental issues with the way that Microsoft run the Xbox and the Xbox network, but those tend to be the point of view of myself rather than the general feeling. Yeah, Elliot put up a good point there. He says, um, after a few years, um, you know, the Xbox for seven... He, he's had 360 for seven years. It doesn't have to be upgraded. Whereas with a PC, it usually does. See, look, they're back again. Bastards. No! <sighs> I lost two, so I've still got one left. I'm going to have to build up a massive sodding fleet now and go over there and twat the piss out of these boys. Son of a bitch. So, now, that basically means that these guys here... So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need between seven and ten ships... before I can actually do anything against him. So, let's see. So there's that one. How many guns on that one? 26, 24. Hmm. So 20 round, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no, we can't get any more. We'll leave it at that for the time being. Yeah, I can't argue with you on that one, Elliot. Um, is PC gaming is starting to thrive. Part of the reason why PC gaming is also starting to thrive is the ability to mod things, the ability to change things. Um, you look at the how much... The mod scene and everything relating to modding and alteration of the base game has helped Minecraft. Think about it. I mean, that's kind of a key. That's almost like a flagship, as much as it probably kills me to say it, um, for the PC. Because it is just an absolute perfect example of what you can do when you start modding things. Um, it really makes a huge amount of difference. Now, let's see. There's the industrial center so we'll we've got a big army in there they'll be recovered and let's see what can we recruit how much what have we got in the army two three so let's recruit one two of those so we'll have five eight pound artilleries and we need some we'll need some more light infantry at some point so if i remember rightly there's light inf here was that it yeah, it was. So we'll, we'll go in and we'll recruit a couple of those. And then send that lighting for Joe over there. Yeah, Daisy's a good example. Daisy is a very good example. Um, mm. 
the thing is also to a certain degree the problem is with consoles especially the current versions is that they are fps limited so they're fps limited to um a certain uh, level usually 30 fps but that's a guarantee now obviously people are moving more to higher fps's and things of that nature so um it means that the generations of the xbox as they stand at the moment are being left behind so let's move on to the next turn so currently all that's remaining is me versus the ottomans and it's not going to be the ottomans who win i'm sorry <laughs> what what he says what the hell Oh, right, yeah, of course, naval recruitment, so I'm recruiting Briggs and Sloops over here. So there's Corvettes, 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 Corvettes. And let's see what else can we do. Sloops, Corvettes, Briggs. Yeah, okay. So that would be good navy to which we can use to send an army up to here somewhere. And attack this lovely area, Nicosia. So, if that's the case... I think it should be this boy. So let us send him to Alexandria and use him. Okay. So that's interesting. Chasseurs like Dimitri. Ah, I wonder. So there's Chasseurs like Infantry. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay, let's see. I just wondered if the Chasseurs Light Infantry differed from the normal Light Infantry uh, in that they had 190 plus men rather than the 90 or so uh, that I seem to have. Because if you look in the army, I think it was, see, look, 90. See, I don't get why they're 90. And down here, this guy here has them with 183. Not sure why that is. The thing is, at the end of the day, everything is going to get hacked. Because the thing is, when people are out there and they say, oh yeah, we've made our Xbox or our PC, PS3 unhackable, then that's just stupid. Because all you're doing is you're essentially putting out a uh, challenge to those kind of people who would love exactly that kind of thing so it's like you know well, what the bloody hell do you expect you fools oh wow ps3 has been hacked or our xbox system has been hacked oh no it's like well you know you did kind of invite the challenge you fools so never mind bless them bless their little cotton socks right so we'll send him over to there so he's in there as the chicken chasseurs and let's see that should be recruitment yep still going or spiffity doodah 4chan yeah i've heard of 4chan never looked at it never bothered really to be honest what's in that army see these guys let's recruit uh, whoops. Create more of those. And put one in there. And, yeah, they're all right. So a nice little collection of troops there. Those guys are all recovered. These guys are all recovered. So, one. En avant! Marchez! And two. And then we shall use which guy is it? It's, it's this guy. Right. No, the thing is, right, is not so much hacking, but more to do with writing viruses, things of that nature. It's a very good way to learn the ins and outs and the intricacies of an operating system. It's just a fantastic way to learn. 
So, you know, say what you want. They've got to be at least partially smart to be able to hack into it to start with. I mean, you know, you've got to be not an idiot to kind of know how the Windows works anyway. Granted, that is my living, so. But I don't, I, I have no desire to hack anybody. Because I have no malicious intent to anyone in that respect, at least not yet. That could obviously change in time. Depends how often Mal keeps beating me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very smart not to get found out. Yeah. That's the key part. One. Now, where is the best placement for this RT? I'm thinking over here. It's not high. Hmm. Ah, screw it. Just put it right in the center. Now, the thing is, um, don't confuse smarts with knowledge. Like, um, uh, Montgomery, he was saying, I'm not smart at all, I don't even know how to mod my Rome Total War game. Um, just because you don't know doesn't make you not smart, it just means you don't know. There is a, a very important difference between the two. Um, the fact is, is just, it's like, people seem to seem to think, especially where technology is concerned, if they don't know how to do something, then they must be an idiot, and that's not actually technically the case. Um, they may not necessarily be, what's the word, um, technically able in the same way that other people are, but they are most likely able in other ways that the other person isn't. So it swings and roundabouts, really, at the end of the day. So let's put that as number... No. Let's put that as number two. Okay, I want to keep them out there. I'll put them in there. I think part of the problem, this is a problem that America has, is they have become distrustful of smart people. And that's a very, very dangerous thing to happen because it's the smart people who push forward um, you know important things like uh, you know innovation and things of that nature stuff that's that helps improve the country as a whole and if you don't do that then you begin to stagnate and you begin to kind of fold in on yourself and start consuming yourself as a country uh, I've seen it happen many times in many places and that could be what's happening to America over the course of time. But, you know, that's just... Yeah, but the thing is, right, you're saying it's not smart to allow them to carry guns around. Part of the problem is the fact that um, even though... What you're looking at is the interpretation of the Second Amendment. And that's the key word, interpretation. If, for whatever reason, you were given a document with a statement of intent how you read that intent would differ from person to person that's a fact it's never going to change um and so it means that everybody's interpretation to a level is different and so the trouble is is the the national rifle association in america has been let to get into such a position of power that now they can if they wish to they have the money to bankroll candidates to get them into the legislature. And the problem is with that, as soon as you get those kind of people in there, you're never going to get them back out again. And that's the fundamental issue with the American political system, is that it has become massively, massively corrupt. Um, you know, you look at the amount of uh, issues you have with special interests. You know, did you know that if a uh, senator... senator uh, gets elected, he's then got to raise $10,000 a week just to get re-elected. And that, to me, says there's a problem. No, no, they, no they, they won't ban guns because 
the the gun even if the president i mean look um uh kennedy got shot they still didn't ban guns the thing is is that because guns and guns have become such a ingrained part of what america is supposed to be you know land of the free that then people use that as a hit to stick uh, stick to hit people with you know that you're a uh, you know you're getting in the way of free speech or freedom of rights and all the rest of it and stuff like that and it's not so much that as it is where's my artillery um where's my artillery go to more to the point um does it go far enough Oh, there we go. Oh, good, it does. Excellent. Okay. The mob shot him. Yeah, whatever. Um, I've actually been to Dallas. I've actually stood in the area where Kennedy was killed. Very sobering experience. Yeah, but also the thing is, the whole point is that they are using the letter of the law to defeat the spirit of the law when it comes to the Second Amendment. As you were saying, uh, the, the thing is with the Second Amendment is the Second Amendment was put in place when there was uh, militias. And this is around the 1770s, so the right to form an armed militia to defend yourself against the government. So um, it is the right to bear arms and all the rest of it. It's not actually the right to bear arms, it's the right to form an armed militia. But because of that, because of this interpretation that people choose to read on it, it's a case of they read it as they want to read it, as opposed to actually how it says it. So, essentially, it becomes a great big huge debate that becomes pointless, because they're never going to listen. They don't want to listen, that's the whole point. And what the hell are these people doing? Ugh. So let's go up over here, shall we? Yeah, thunder. You need to get out more. Um, <laughs> I'm not convinced by that statement, mate. I'm afraid. Sorry. Okay. So, we've got a great big used long line of enemies here. Yeah, also bear in mind that selling arms to people is still big business. Our government does it. Um, you know, it becomes, it's, like for example though, I think there was a study saying that if you are carrying a firearm, your likelihood of being shot is actually higher than if you're not, same with a knife. Which kind of defeats the object, surely. But the trouble is, is that um, the people who like the NRA and all the rest of it, um, have this, this fantasized notion of being this great big hero jumping to the defense of women and children, pulling out their gun and guns blazing and basically being a hero. And that is in no way based on any kind of reality. Um, and, you know, like they said in that, uh, oh God, what was it, press conference, what's the solution for a man with a gun? A man with an even bigger gun. And that, to me, that's the mentality all over. That's where part of the problem lies. You know, let's solve the problem by bringing bigger guns. No, let's solve the problem by deciding in a more sensible way who has access to guns. Who has access to those guns, how they get access to them. Like, for example, people who are considered to be a danger to others or suicide risks or have uh, a history of mental instability should not be allowed to have firearms. Because if they can't even be uh, trusted to handle it themselves, why give them the firearm? I mean, the whole thing with Dunblane that occurred, that was a complete clusterfuck from start to finish. It's not to do with the fact that, uh, you know, he went in there and shot loads of five-year-old kids, which was obviously a complete tragedy, absolutely terrible. The biggest tragedy of all was the fact that the fucking police knew about it, and uh, yet they didn't consider him a danger to children. 
I mean, but the thing is, there were so many questions, so many things asked, allegations. Surely, if the man's got firearms, the first thing you would do is say, OK, let's, uh, we're doing an investigation. We're going to take away those firearms just to be safe. No, they didn't do that. And all those children suffered as a result. The thing is, at the end of the day, guns don't kill people. People do. And if you want to restrict the use of guns in an environment, then you have to restrict people's access to them. But then, of course, they won't do that because it will be the whole freedom of speech and all that kind of thing and freedom to do this and freedom to do that. Um, and people are just using that freedoms or the, what they perceive to be their freedoms as a right to basically do and say whatever the hell they want. Yeah, it's possible we knew about Pearl Harbor. It's possible they knew about Pearl Harbor as well. So what do the people of um, America do? Uh, what do the people of America do if they're invaded? The same thing that any country does. They do a call to arms and they uh, uh, employ everybody they can to fight off the invaders. Uh, that's common sense. You don't need an armed militia running around all the time when you've got all these nutters with guns, survivalists and all the rest of it, who um, are more of a danger to the flipping local law enforcement and to the people that they are around than anything else, you know? I mean, it's ridiculous. Oh my God, that's a lot of people. Um, so what, sh that was just stupid. What was just stupid? Sorry, Montgomery, can you explain, mate? I'm just curious to know what you said. That, that's just stupid. Uh, what you're referring to. No, no, it's not nuclear war, because the thing is, with nuclear war, there was what's known as MAD, which is mutually assured destruction. So nuclear war, was intended to act as a whoops let's get to the square as a deterrent so it deters those people from attacking you because you know that their destruction is mutually assured so by attacking you with um, any kind of weapon like specifically the nuclear weapons that they will as a result uh, not survive Uh, most of it will be done uh, conventional weapons because you would have to be bloody stupid to use nuclear weapons in a modern day war film because it will just it's a point it's a point of escalation that cannot be brought back once you once you've dropped the bomb that's it you've escalated it beyond all reasonableness crap what are these boys doing? Right, let's bring this lot down. Let's bring these two down. Come on. That the square. Bring down. Yeah, I thought so. Those guys are not designed to fight melee. Militia would help, yeah, but the thing is, right, Thunder, sorry, I disagree with you. Militia would not help to keep order in the world because the thing is with the militia is they would be essentially an un, not so much unregistered but unpoliced organization so and those people are the most prone to corruption uh, and uh, based behavior so you know that's the reason why you have an organized police force to exactly get around that kind of problem um, and unless you do that it's never going to happen so a militia will not solve the problem in any way shape or form Okay, 
Okay. This is pretty harsh. This is pretty harsh. Okay. Get in there. Yeah, but the thing is, the problem is, you should listen to a guy called Dan Carlin, because he says the problem is with the war on terror is that it's a war that will never end, because there is no objective at the end of it. How do you know if you've won a war on terror? You can't. You can never know. And so, essentially, America has been committed to a war that will never end. Plus also, bear in mind that uh, when people are scared, they tend to act irrationally. Uh, look at all of the uh, rights that the American people have lost after 9-11. Um, because, I mean, the Patriot Act just got rid of so many um, things that the... Americans had won for themselves over the course of many, many years. It's a very knotty, it's a knotty situation. It's never simple, it's never easy. It's one of those things that, you know, everybody has their own opinion of because it's a thing relating to a country and country and identity is a very important thing to a lot of people. It's a very emotive subject. You know, but I've never been one to shy away from a good discussion. You know, as far as I'm concerned, everybody's opinion is valid. I may disagree with you, but I will defend to the death your right to express that opinion. Now, if you... Oh, crikey. Uh, let's take him out of that and F him. F him! F him now! What do you mean? What have they got to be scared of? Who, who, who's scared of what? Why is my artillery... Oh, you know what, I don't even want to know. I know what you're saying, Cucumber. The trouble is, is nobody, nobody will ever agree on a policy because everyone's, uh, not desires, but everybody's um, requirements are different, country to country. It's just the way it is. So they will never, in that way, see eye to eye. So let's go here, I think. Yeah, you know who the people who desire war are? The people who sell guns. That's who wants war. Because war is a moneymaker. You look at before Vietnam occurred in America, the spending on the uh, square, um, the soon to be yours. spending on defense expenditure down by a lot. And then Vietnam occurred and all of a sudden the defense expenditure was up by something like five or six hundred percent.
War is the continuation of politics by other means. It's essentially the gist. All right, let's get these boys in here and start twatting. Hello. Who's it? What the hell is the... Oh. That's the ad general. So nice of him for bringing the troops. Just go over there and don't annoy me. Yeah, no, I never said we couldn't live in a world of peace. Um, the thing is, is yeah, conflict is a thing that happens on a regular basis. Uh, you're never going to get away from that. Oh, go, no, don't, don't, don't. Oh, you idiot. See, look, they just charge after them, right? Look at this. They charge after them, and then they die on the spikes, because they're fucking idiots. Idiot, bloody look, look at them. They're, they're all those cavalry just died on those spikes because they like, oh, we're going to chase after you. Oh, look, spikes, let's ride through them, splat. Oh, dear. But this is a great discussion, I have to say. Uh, no, by the way, I will also hey, do add that in this discussion, nobody is wrong. Nous avons triomphé. Oh, he lost every single one in his army. Oh, how unfortunate. Uh, and we have consolidated our new conquest. We shall peacefully occupy because we're not a bunch of dicks. Okay, so let's have a look. Infrastructure, construction, let us repair the drill school because we're nice. We are benevolent leaders. And if you don't believe that, we'll kill all of you. Um, okay, so let us go over to the harbour. And let's check down here. Diddly, diddly, do. Naval recruitment. There we go. Recruit, 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 recruit. So, let's see. Um, old, what's his face? Should be making his way over there to Alexandria soon. So, let's continue. Oh, bloody hell. Goddamn Ottomans. <sighs> yawning, yawning now. Okay, so, um, what's that? Magistrate, Court of Justice, 15% region tax. Yes, we'll have some of that. Uh, what have I built? Drill school, supply. Uh, recruit, 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 recruit. There we go, at Palestine. So there's the army at Palestine. Now, no, we can't recruit one of those guys yet. So... What we will be able to do, though, is let's see what else is on recruitment there. Nothing else. Militia, Palestine, auxiliary militia. No, I don't want that, don't want that. What can we create here? Right, how many light infantry do I have in that army? One, two, three. Let's build another light nymph. Another chicken chasseur. And then we've got two cav. And then we'll just have, he can come down there. Actually, no, he can stay, he can stay there because we'll put him back in afterwards. But then what we need after that is we'll need two more line infantries. And then, what? No, I didn't say that. Line infantries. And then we'll move up and get them in there. Now, more to the point, what's in here? Nothing. Jerusalem and Judea, nothing, nothing, nothing. Right, let us armify that. Hello, sunshine. Try taking it now. Have some of that, you bitch.
the thing is with all this kind of stuff until you i mean it sounds far, very star trek but I, I think it's a great thing until you remove money and the desire for money and the requirement for more money out of the system then everything else is up for grabs that's basically it really hmm. let's move on because the thing is you can say oh yeah what about you know, what about honor and what about uh, you know doing this and that and t'other and all the rest of it but as long as people are in it for the money you're never going to stop it so you know until you remove that desire for money you're not going to get rid of it that's a fact army 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 okay so let's see these guys are looking good let's just send them to tripoli oh baby this should be fun let's attack Big hills. We like big hills. Aha. Right, so. We'll put all those together. And those guys will go here. Almost immediately. Now. What we will do is. We shall put. Those guys down the far side. And. Where is our lights? Let's put them here, spread them out, and do that, there we go. Right, okay, that's good. Now, we want a section of troops on the right, which will be there, and they will be that section there. And what do we have remaining? Gen, got these guys here to follow up with them. Whoops, wrong way round. Go that way. Um, and then these guys here. Whoops. These are more line. We'll have them down in this section here, so they can move in from the left side. So here we go. Let's move these guys. How far can we move these guys? Let's see. Yeah, let's move them there. There we go. Get going, fellas. Oh, Nelly! They're attacking me already, those buggers. So, let's put them together in group two and put that one in. So there we go. No, wrong one. Would that be right? No. Is that right? No. Still no. Okay, that's interesting. That's nice. I like that. these guys down here and let's move these fellows
Damn it, wrong one. There we go. Uh, these fine fellows over here. Let's get them to there, I think. Get them hidden in there. And over here. Yeah, if World War III is going to happen, it will probably happen off the back of a financial collapse. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Right, so, number one. Unlimber. Okay, so, how are we doing for time? Yeah, I should probably call it a day in about 20 minutes, I reckon. Uh, let's see, let's move these guys down. There we go, one, one. Never mind, I'm going mad. Going, obviously, is a questionable statement. So, let's have a look. So, these guys can now move down this hill slowly. moment he's moving a reasonable amount of troops over to the right so let's see if we leave them there actually let's just see if we can put them there oh god look they're all over the bloody place I'll leave it like that nice staggered step formation I like that looks nice Debt is not a problem for the US or it is infl or nor inflation. Yeah, but the thing is, the whole point is, is about a balance. And at the moment, 90% of the debt, I believe, for America is owned by China. And if they call in that debt, then America, um, well, America's in deep shit, essentially. to sneak in behind them. Okay, so here we go, confrontation time. Those guys should protect that section. Hmm. Oh, and what do you know? They're rushing him. That's unusual, didn't expect that. Glorious pictures, huh? It's soon to be yours. Okay. <laughs> I 
Poor old Yaffa's just stumbled into the middle of a conversation. He has no idea what's happened. Poor Yaffa. Okay, well, I, I, I'm, I'm quite prepared to admit if I made a mistake, I haven't been up to speed on the latest situation with the debt, American debt anyway, so my apologies if I'm getting my facts wrong. There we go, so that's stopping those guys getting in. Those are in a position of strength there. We're holding the line here. Good. We don't want any of those guys in that mode. They're over here. I don't believe there's such a thing as infinite money. I think that's a fallacy. Everything is finite. Same with resources and everything. <laughs> Look, they come up the hill and then they get absolutely butchered almost immediately. Well done, lads. Well done, fellas. My French Republican Regiment of Foot. There we go, I think. And off they charge yet again. Up the hill they came, and down the hill they went. Okay. Come on, kill all the uh, artillery bastards. Now go after the general bastard. So these guys should break pretty soon. Or at least they will when they walk over the top of that hill and see all these fine fellows. We'll just shoot back at them. Come on, kill the general. Assassinate the general. Oh, where's he gone? Get after him. Idiots. So, let's get these guys into a position like that. Oh, look. 
and we decided to run in the opposite direction. We're not going to get a bloody gem in there, but it's too far gone, look. Because my guys got caught up, idiots. Idiots! Idiots, a lot of them. So, if I send these guys back here, speed that up, send them after that lot. Come on. Why are they moving that way? They want to shoot at this guy, you bloody fools. Stab him. Get in there and stab him. You guys can hold fire. You guys. There we go. I've got to say, the chat, the, the discussion in chat is bloody brilliant. You guys are awesome. I love you. Yes, you will have to. Feel free to make a comment on the battles thus far and the uh, strategy as uh, this cast is about to end in the next five minutes. So. No, it doesn't, but I do. Too many risks. War is about taking risks. No! No! Fucking bitch. I'm gonna lose my southern army. I think I might have just lost Napoleon. Oh dear. Fucking Navy. Arseholes. Nice. Uh, 
Oh well, never mind. Let's save. And we'll move on. We'll see you later, boys and girls. Have a good evening. Then cheerio, boys.